Perfect. Um, yeah, so I was seeing all the questions flow in. Um, starting from one, uh, yes, I use Emacs for all of my school assignments, um, including like MLA formatted essays and things like that. Um, I've actually found it really easy to just with some template files to set up the LaTeX stuff. Um, and yeah, I have one org mode file that I use as a template with LaTeX fragments, and then I export just that org mode without the extra formatting. Um, and that's helped a lot with the very specifically formatted stuff. Um, what do my friends think? <laughs> At first, I was talking about it all the time. Um, and so uh, especially like one of my closest friends I was telling her about it, uh, and at some point she was just like, "You gotta stop talking about Emacs. I'm, I'm happy for you, but it's too much." Um, so I think I overwhelmed them a little bit at first, um, but I think ever since I've sort of formulated my configuration and I um, just been working with that workflow, I haven't had to talk about it as much. I'm not um, discovering like new things every day as I was at the beginning, although there are still many, many things to discover. Um, and so, yeah, I haven't been overwhelming them as much. But they're still like, with my friends and family, if I mention Emacs, they're like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Um, yeah, so lecture speed. Um, I type pretty fast, um, so usually around like 100, 110 uh, words per minute. Um, and so that, just in general, helps. Um, also, Yasnipit. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I use a lot of snippets um, for LaTeX fragments, integrals, uh, you know, you name it, sums. Um, and then, uh, yes, I do have a Git repo. Um, it is not public currently, I think, um, but I could, I could probably make that public at some point. Um, and yeah, LaTeX fragments have been a lifesaver in everything. Um, I've even gotten like pretty used to typing matrices. Um, taking linear algebra this year, you have to do a lot of like you know there's matrices, determinants, things like that, um, and I've gotten better at typing those as well. Um, I think I think it does help. Yeah, for sure. I think having a structured system um, with school or School makes it easier to have a very structured system. Um, I made a script to sort of fetch assignments, and that has given me like a good playground um, to test out these things in a very structured sort of environment. Um, so fetching assignments, where to put them in org mode files, the data that I can include in those, um, and then doing everything else. Um, yeah, I think. That has been really, really helpful. Um, and just jumping, jumping questions. Um, okay, actually, uh, I'm just uh, interjecting for a second. If you could just take one or two more questions, that would be perfect. Sounds good. Um, I used Vim in the first place mainly for programming. Um, that was I didn't use it for Markdown or anything, um, but I got used to some of the keybinds. Um, and actually, funnily enough, when I started using Emacs, I started using more Vim keybinds. Got used to the HJKL and all that stuff. Um, and finally, um, I would probably use Doom or Space Max. Um, I started in Emacs Circle, but I haven't done much yet. Um, so probably something like that. And uh, really, the important thing is having a reason to use Emacs. Um, and so I would try to find that for, for every person. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for, for listening to my talk and listening to my Q&A. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you, you so much, Pius. And uh, for everyone in the chat, really, thank you for taking the time to go through a presentation of us. OK, Bandali. Uh, sorry, I mean, you can take it away. <laughs> awesome, indeed. Thank you very much, Pierce, and um, everyone.